Steamboat, the world's largest geyser, erupts for the fifth time this year. Steamboat Geyser, the largest in Yellowstone in the world, erupted for the fifth time this year on Monday. After six years of active eruptions, volcanologists say Steamboat appears to be losing some of its steam. Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park erupted for the fifth time this year, shooting superheated water hundreds of feet into the air and starting the week early at 8.05 a.m. Monday. It was hard not to notice. Jill Valley is a KPAX TV anchor and reporter in Missoula, Montana, who happened to be vacationing in Yellowstone when the eruption occurred. She arrived in Steamboat just in time to get video of the massive eruption. You can hear the geyser rumbling in Norris Basin, Mike Pullen, the lead scientist for the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, said it was time for the park's largest geyser to start off with a little steam. I was there from late August to early September, telling people it looked like it could happen at any time, he told the Cowboy State Daily. Yellowstone's and the world's largest geyser, Steamboat, doesn't have a regular eruption schedule. But it does have an observable cycle that indicates when an eruption is likely to occur, whether it's a day, a week or a month in advance. The cycle between eruptions is getting longer as Steamboat winds down one of its most active periods in recorded history. Poland said Steamboat is slowly running out of steam. It looks like it's coming out of a phase of very, very frequent eruptions and high levels of activity, he said. It's basically going back to sleep. In addition to being Yellowstone's largest geyser, Steamboat is also unique in its eruptive cycle. While its eruptions can occur anywhere from a few days to decades, there are always signs that an eruption is imminent. Over the last few years, when we've been in a more frequent eruptive phase, we'll see small eruptive activity around Steamboat, Pullen said. Water is splashing around the vent and the eruptions can be 10 to 30 feet high. The small eruptions increased in intensity and frequency until they became more or less continuous, and that was an indication that the geyser was ready for a major eruption. Steamboat showed signs of small eruptions in the days and weeks leading up to its major eruption on October 7. Poland noted that most other geysers do not erupt as much or as long as Steamboat. Steamboat is somewhat unique in that it is more pre-eruption, whereas we can see it building up leading up to an eruption, he said. Many other geysers erupt, or perhaps there is a little movement in the geyser in the minutes before an eruption, like at Old Faithful. However, small eruptions do not provide a timeline for an eruption. Another thing that makes Steamboat unique among Yellowstone geysers is that it has small eruptions. When Steamboat finally erupts, it goes through a series of other well-documented behaviors. A full eruption can last up to 24 hours, but it changes dramatically during that time. The first few minutes of an eruption are what we call the water phase, when water is shooting out, as high as 300 to 400 feet, Pullen said. After 10 to 30 minutes, the geyser begins to enter the steam phase, which can last up to 24 hours with decreasing intensity. During the steam phase, large amounts of underground steam are forced out through Steamboat's narrow vent. The sound is described as similar to the roar of a jet engine. Volcanologists like Poland don't need to read the landscape to know when Steamboat is erupting. One of the many sophisticated scientific instruments they have to monitor the geyser is located inside Steamboat's splash zone. Heat detectors inside the geyser and hot tubs monitor changes in water temperature. Poland said one sure sign of a steamboat eruption is when the heat detectors are working hard. 
we record that little activity instrumentally with temperature sensors at the outlet of the geyser, he said. If there's a lot of little activity, you're going to see a constant warm temperature through those sensors because there's always hot water coming out of the geyser that's flowing into the outlet. Post eruption, its main sensor detected stable air temperatures. It was a sure sign that steamboat was done for now. Poland said similar sensors were installed near geysers throughout Yellowstone. This creates a network that alerts scientists to events that park visitors might witness.